So today we're out on another golf resort. It's the 30th of June. It's about quarter to nine, so it's nice and early, mainly because it's cool. You're probably gonna hear me aircon on. So we're just coming up to the security gate first. This is a big golf resort. Gotta tell you a lot more once I'm inside. Okay, just a quick sec. For those people that are after the t-shirt, especially the expat and Mazarin subscribers t-shirt, I'll bring on my model now. Good evening. This will be the t-shirt that you can get, guys. Now, if you want a t-shirt, if you look below the video, in the description, there'll be a link there. I'm off again. See ya. Looking at the golf course. Cheers. So, like I said, I've never been here before, so I've been checked in properly. The NIE's been taken, and my obviously my residential number as well, plus the car number. Now, what usually happens after that is next time I turn up. They recognise the car number because they got my full name and uh, yeah, let me in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drive around. The urbanisation itself, I'll put some music on in a minute because you don't hear me gabbling all the time. What I will say at the moment, obviously we, we come out of lockdown a couple of weeks ago. Now I do know that this golf course has been back to doing its tournaments and things like that. So I know this is fully operational golf course. Um, as you can see, big security fence all around, cameras, lights. As far as I know, this is a fully operated golf resort. Not like some I've been on where <clears throat> I haven't even got a golf course in work but here it is it's supposed to be a really lovely golf course they call this the golf valley it's called el val but they call it the golf valley it's part of the gnk group they own four three others sorry which is the uh el hammer signature near where i live you've got the latour and the hacienda requiem so Nice golf courses. I believe this one is supposed to be the best, but we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, I'm gonna put on the music now. Enjoy the, the drive.
turned up at the clubhouse. I'll have a quick look at what the uh, facilities are. Okay, just remind everybody, it's nine o'clock in the morning, so it's probably that opens about ten anyway, so that's probably why you're going to see it so quiet. The main centre of it, so you've got a estate agent there. You've got a golf shop where you can hire out stuff as well. Obviously a lot of people will come over and have to hire out electric trolley, things like that. Even uh, one of those um, automatic things, as I call it. God, I can't even think what they call now. You know, it's got the wheels. <laughs> Right, they've got the clover, obviously not open yet. Uh, and the main part is the restaurant, which is also not open yet. Well, it could be. But anyway, I'm not going to go through that at the moment. I'm going to go around the, around the side. Now, let's give you some idea of price property. There's also underground parking under the club so I'm at the uh, first tee now these guys are just practicing ready to go out on the course you can see there's some more in the distance so they probably start off down this direction now I've just been told it can take you to get around this course which I thought was pretty amazing just over four hours, four and a half hours. I know there's a lot of bunkers. I think there's 115 bunkers. They've got two lakes. It's obviously split in two. They also call this the, uh, the desert run. This is what's called the, the golf valley. So anyway, we're, we're gonna go around a little bit. We're gonna capture some of it. So all you golf people are gonna understand this, all the different colors. Uh, it's obviously telling about the layout as well. So today I'm at El Val, which that's where I say it anyway, but it's also known really as the uh, Gulf Valley. It's set on a theme of desert. It's got 115 bunkers, two lakes, 18 hole golf course. I would be honest guys, I think this is probably one of the best 
I've just come back from taking a load of photographs. There were loads of groundsmen out there cutting the grass, making sure everything's nice and smooth. And also another guy going around making sure everything was nice and clean and tidy. Now this complex was built back in 2007. It's part of the GNK group. Now GNK own three more other golf courses, which is a Latour, which is not far away. You've got obviously uh, Alhambra Signature, not far from where I live, near, down near Alhambra de Murphia. And also you've got the Hacienda Requiem, which is also not very far away. Now airport, the nearest airport is called Vera Airport, or also known as Mercer International Airport. It's about 19 minutes away, so it's really close. The beaches in that direction, 30 minute drive, <laughs> can't be bad. And it, they are lovely beaches. Mercia City, which is over that direction, over the mountain range there, probably that, not even 25 minutes. You, you just go straight into the motorway, straight into it. So you're pretty, you're in a brilliant position really. And also, you've got the main international airport, Alicante, which is about, I don't know, probably about 40 minutes or more. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, so you're in the right area. They've got villas and apartments here. It's a bit of a mixture, which is nice to see because some, some of these golf resorts, it's just apartments or it's the other way around villas. And from what I can see, it's fully established. There's nothing here. Um, you've got restaurant, you've got the clubhouse just behind me. Um, you've got the, the shop, golf shop where you can hire out stuff. Especially if you want to get a, a buggy, because I think we need a buggy around here to cover this golf course. And also you've got a stunt agent the bar now i got here really early now i would imagine the bars are starting to open up now but for me it's getting a bit too hot i've had enough now <laughs> hope you enjoyed the vid as I always say you've got to keep watching guys because if you don't you're gonna miss something and uh, yeah i'll catch you on the next one you've got to come here